So somebody asked me a while back um, how I drew the artwork for that little Rick and Morty short that I did. Um, and this is basically how I did it. Um, I found that in, and I use Anime Studio 11, that the best way to draw is by starting with a shape and adding points to it and moving those points around and uh, rounding them out or, you know, um, creating corners out of them, whatever you need uh, to build whatever it is you're trying to draw. Um, I've tried to do it other ways, but it never really seems to work. I mean, at first I thought when I looked at this that I could just treat it like Illustrator. And even though they're both vector programs, um, Anime Studio, and I'm assuming Moho, uh, treat vector very differently. Although from what I understand, Moho has, um, Moho 12, has bezier handles now, which m would probably make it a little more Illustrator-like, but, um, Anime Studio still has these weird little things that, that, that kind of make no sense to me. I, I mean, you'll see it a little later on. Um, there's certain things I haven't quite figured out. A lot of times, um, coloring things is weird. Like, what, what I'll do, and, and uh, you won't see a good example of this for a while yet, unfortunately. Because here I'm still taking, um, you know, I'm taking shapes and uh, altering them to make whatever object I need. Like, this is the veins. And you can see there's like little lines in there. And basically what I'll do is I'll use the pencil tool with automatic weld on, and I'll use that to draw those little inside lines to make it look um, like a complete, like it was drawn on its own. When it's really just a, it, it, I'm going to make this whole object out of like two or three shapes. And, um... You know, I'm not going to redraw the entire thing for you, but I and and I do go through this quite kind of quick just to give you the idea, um, because it's it's it gets very repetitive after a while, um, and you don't want to sit here and watch me draw the whole thing. The, the the original recreation of this entire scene probably took me two or three days, because there's a lot of tiny little stuff, and I really wanted to come as close to um, the Rick, the the real Rick and Morty artwork as I could get and I see here there was one of those weird little things that anime studio does when you sometimes when you try to weld a line to another line it'll take away the color or it's because the line has a color and it'll apply that color to the rest of the object and it can be very frustrating um, and, and I have to admit I'm not a seasoned you know anime studio user i really haven't been using it for long and i'm still kind of getting the hang of some of it but i just wanted to show you guys how i did what i did since somebody had asked about it and here you can see um i'm putting in the color the shaded color the darker red and it's basically going to be a shape and you know i'm using those little little points to draw in those lines um and i just you know cheat Let's say I wanted to make this whole blockhead creature um, be able. I wanted to be able to animate it. Um, I'm not sure how well this technique would work because there's a lot of points in there to move around. Maybe it might be better if I had created it in Photoshop and then brought that in and then you know used a mesh or something to 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 move it around. Um, I just wanted to push the vector. Um, aspect of this program and see what I could get out of it. Um, and I went pretty far. Um, let's see, in a minute or two, I, I go through the original file and I show you what I did and how it looks. You, you, you'll get a closer look at it. Um, but this is pretty much how I did it. Just adding points, moving them around, adding points, moving them around. In a lot of ways, I kind of think of it as, you know, like in th in um, in 3D animation, you know, I use Blender and it's the same thing. You take a primitive, you take a you take a block or you take a sphere and you alter that and and you make your 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 objects out of that. Well, I do the same kind of thing here. I'll take a square and I mostly use squares because I find the that if I use a circle, 
um, on something that doesn't need to be round, I have to undo that rounding. Otherwise, the whole shape fights against me. You'll see in a minute when I do, I go into the eye, and I try to create that uh, shadow in the eye. And I try to do it from a, a round shape, and it fights me a little bit. Um, I'll probably get to that in a second. Uh, right now I'm creating the highlight red, the, the lighter red on the, I guess it's the front face. You know, and I just, um, I hide all the edges. And I add points and I move them around and I round them off and I make them fit. And that's how it goes. You know, I, I don't know how well this would work in a, um, in a production atmosphere. I would really love someone to let me know, you know, is this how you would really do it if you were creating an animated cartoon? Because there's a lot of points in there and there's a lot... If, I, if this was a character that had to move, I don't know how well that would work. Here you go. I think I'm going to create the... No, this is going to be the corner of the eye. I think after I do the other side, I'll do the shadow. And you'll see I have to, I'm have struggling with the shape a little bit because I created out of a round. Oh, and here's also another thing. Um, it goes really fast because I speeded things up. But you can move things. Like Illustrator, you can, you can move things from the front to the back to the back to the front. And I use that a lot. Here you go. Here's how I, I, I created that shadow on the eye. And it, it fights me a little bit because everything's rounded off and i got to unround it. Um, so sometimes it's easier to start with a square shape and, and round it where you need it. Um, blows by pretty quick, so if there's something you don't get or something you know you want me to explain, let me know and I'll do my best. Um, like I said, I'm you know haven't been using Anime Studio for long. Um, I really haven't been able to upgrade to Moho yet. Uh, maybe I'll do it soon. I don't know. I'm not sure. But this is just basically how I created that. You see that whole vein thing is in front, so it covers up the back. I probably, after I went through a lot of this, I I, I think I should have um, reduced the thickness of that line. And I see uh, right here is coming. I come up to a situation that doesn't really work so well. I mean, I get I what I tried to do there was create a point in the middle so that I could delete it and then weld those two together. But when I did that, it took it stripped out the color. It uh, there's there's some things that I still find very frustrating with Anime Studio that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. The way it handles color, it seems difficult and frustrating and and maybe it's because i just don't get certain things yet i'm hoping like here i tried to i tried to weld that line and it changed the color of everything i do it a couple times and i can't get it to work um so and that's what it looks like oh, i did there there's the preview uh, it goes by really quickly but when i come to the when i show you the um the original file the video will slow down and you'll be able to see what much better what's going on. Here I just tossed the sky in the background just to here we go. I open up the original scene and let you see what I what I did there. And I went into a, a lot more detail here. You know, here's the flying eye creature. And I really hadn't thought, afterwards I thought about animating the blockheads more than I did, but I had already drawn them as like one piece. I really couldn't separate them anymore and move things around. And this is just zooming in to let you see it a little closer. You can see those, those highlights are just shapes that I applied a, a blur effect to the edge. And here I'm just taking out some of the elements to show you what I put on extra levels. Because I was going to, I was thinking about, um, I animated that one thing. I don't even know what to call some of this stuff. I actually went in there and drew all those little stupid circles. It took me like forever. But I was determined to make it as much like the broadcast cartoon as I could. And that's really it.